life of this magnificent young leopard. He is forming a huge part of the narrative that we are, well, we're not creating, it's being created for us at Wild Earth. And he is, he's one year old, as I say, so that makes him born exactly a year ago. But he's had a pretty tough time in the last little month or the last three weeks or so. His mother has failed to raise six litters by this stage. I think it is five or six litters. Anyway, she's nine years old, and that's unusual. She's either been very unlucky or there's something else amiss. And I'm tending, I tend towards the latter. Scott definitely tends towards the former. He just thinks she's been very unlucky. And we're in the process of gathering, in, gathering information as to why she's lost all those litters earlier on. Now, hyenas definitely have played a part in it. Male leopards have definitely played a part. But he is a year old. Now, the normal birthing interval for a female leopard is about 17 months, it was 18 months to three years. Now, she has just mated again with two males. And that means that she, if she falls pregnant now, will have a new cub or new cubs by the time that Sindile or Madiba is 15 months old. Now that is very early and especially as he's a male. Some of the females go independent at this age. Males very, in fact, almost unheard of that they should go, um, go independent at this age. That said, while she was mating for eight or nine days, he spent completely alone in a two hectare area. So in about four and a half to five acres, he spent on his own and he actually did an incredible job. We think he killed a Steenbock. He definitely killed a few Franklins. He never looked thin. And he always looked okay. And we wondered if she'd ever come back and fetch him. And she did. She brought him here. She obviously fed him last night. And so it's really an interesting story and interesting to see what's going to happen with this young fellow. Tired young fellow, should I say.